coming up on this program, we show you how to get connected, find out how to choose an internet service provider, discover the newest form of communication, electronic mail. I thought I'd be when I was a kid on VOIP. I thought when I get older, I'd marry her. I told her now I'm 26 and I work in an office nine till five. Not the best, I'll be honest. If I could change a single thing, I'd make it me and not him. But he's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat. Well, I've got the key and he's just a doormat. He's got social skills That doesn't mean I can't pay the bills Anyway, make the most of him Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick Oh, oh Your new boyfriend's an asshole. I, I don't know why it's transitioning But it's the same screen Good afternoon, good evening Avada Kedavra Sorry, I'm in a mood. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a Discord. Join it. Join it! Thank you. I have two water bottles. So don't yell at me. I have two water bottles. You guys can hear me, right? If you can't hear me, I'm gonna be upset. I'm looking chat up and down right now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, say the word pineapple. I will wait. Wait, right, Jay, wait, hold on. It's, it's a Saturday night. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Um, I had a snooze and ad. <laughs> it's the start of the stream, and I'm already dying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Someone sent something really funny to me while I was drinking water. <laughs> uh, how, it's five minutes into the stream. <laughs> and I'm choking and dying. I apologize. Don't tell me to hydrate after I just choked on water. That feels like an insult. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, that was horrible. Alright. Oh. Oh. I'm okay, guys, I swear. <clears throat> I promise. Um, they keep that between us. Um, don't tell anyone that happened. Uh, I, I promise, um, I'm okay. <laughs> no, I, I might have to do that because every time someone tries to drown me, I, I've started to have this system where, um, Every, every, like, long, like, hydrate drown that I've gotten, that's how long I would hold a chug. So, <laughs> um, a lot of the times I finish the water bottle before I'm done counting, but it's okay. I'm one of those, like, I'm one of those dudes who can, like, drink, like, not drink, but, like, chug water and, like, crinkle up the water bottle, like, as he's going. And it's like, you know? Yeah, 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 I will when I care. It doesn't really affect me, to be honest, but thank you, though. Um, yeah, see ya, Jay, see ya. Peace. You can watch the VOD later. <laughs> Daddy, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this so you can see my fiend YouTuber. City, like a big playground with suddenly Batman. So, as you guys can tell from the title, um, I'm gonna be playing Dial Town because it's the first day of summer, 
and I've decided I wanted to do something that would make me feel like I'm in a fever dream, and honestly, you know what, that's, that's the only reason. I just wanted to feel like I was like, it was just absurd. Um, I know the main character in this is shirtless and has like nine nipples, so if that bothers you, you should probably click off. Um, if you don't want to be absolutely horrified, um, and, you know, not want to go in blind, um, you could look up Dial Town on Google Images, I think. Um, I- actually, what does it come up with it? I hope it just comes up- yeah, it, it does come up with the actual game. Um, if you don't want to go in fully blind, uh, go ahead and look up- look that up. Um, if you want to go in blind and, um, with balls of steel, go ahead. It's really not that bad, but it is like a- um, it is a fever dream. Alright, I'm mixing right now. Alright, see ya, bye-bye. And yes, I love them in Demon. Oh. I'm gonna turn my viewer count off. And we're gonna get going. <sighs> Alright, let me turn the music off. Sorry, Lemon Demon. I'm not. I'm really not. Let's see. Let's go. Alright, you guys see it? Do you guys see it? <laughs> the fucking full screen, fucking... It's not even like fully full screen. Alright. <sighs> oh god, it works like this. Is it enter? Okay. Oh dear. Okay, there's three chapters. I'm so glad to be playing this, you guys actually have no idea. Arrow keys, WSD equals move cursor. What? Oh, full screen. Um, ooh, you know what I should do? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let me just fix that. I hate that it has to transition anyway. Um, is that a good size? You guys, you guys fine? It's not like I have a very active chat anyway. You'll, you'll, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. All right. Um, let's see. Arrow keys slash WASD equals moving the cursor. Okay. So you don't move your mouse. So I'm just going to get that off screen. Um, enter slash left mouse slash space equals select. Um, escape slash right mouse equals back. All right. I'll probably use my mouse instead of the keyboard controls. Uh, shift, bring up conversation. Q to skip dialogue. <laughs> are you guys gonna remember this? I might- I might literally take a p picture. These are the most basic fucking things ever, but I'm a little dumb, as we may know. As we may all know. Alright. Oh, wait. Okay. Let me, let me free. Oh. Oh, that, I was tabbed. I was tabbed in the wrong thing. That's my bad. Oh. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, welcome to Dial Town. I shouldn't make him sound like that. A phone dating sim. I'm so happy. You, you, fuck, I can't read. You must now answer the sounds question three. All right, let's do it. Is there any particular talking to me? Uh, all right, let's do it. What's your name? <laughs> Believe it or not, I didn't actually mean to type that, but this is really funny, so we're gonna go with it. Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Fuck you! Ah! <laughs> don't like that response. <laughs> you live! And you- <laughs> This dog's brutal, man. Second question. Ah! Select a head. 
phone. I want to be a phone. Oh. <laughs> fucking dog! My greatest burden is remembering where I buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Can you at least stick them up? Are you okay? I would- honestly, I would kill for some, like, Olive Garden breadsticks right now. Anyway. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Uh... Oh boy, a girl. Many aluminum cans. <laughs> That's really funny. Alright, I... I, um... I do have a preference towards he, so... Gotcha, gotcha, alright. Enjoy having the innate ability of... <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> That's a dog! I don't know, can you? Shut the fuck up. I'm flipping the dog off right now. Dick. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Alright then, get out of my sight. Gladly. I fucking hate looking at you, you're a bitch. Anyway. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to be mean to the dog. He's just- he's just- Oh my god. Hmm. You sinful creature. <laughs> Seems I'm alive again. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Dark. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Me too, bud. I guess this is me. Um, hmm. I too live in a purple tent. <laughs> Am I gonna get banned for this? <laughs> Oh my, I must find a dank, dark pit. <laughs> Fairground. Oh, Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Oh, yes. Oh, I must go to the carnival. Oh my god. I- I forgot that it started off like this. Oh dear. Am I gonna be put on a list for playing this game? Like, genuinely? Like, am I? Like, is this- is this dangerous? Hold on. I, hold on, I gotta do something, chat. Enjoy the clown music. Cause you guys are clowns. Yeah, that's fucking right. Uh, <clears throat> okay, my phone's taking forever. It's so close yet so far. The carnival must gain entry, must penetrate defensives of mile high railings. I mean, those railings, railings are hardly a mile high. Gaster narrator need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it might just, work. it just might work. You right, you right. I mean, that, that fence did look pretty climbable, though. Two for one! Don't but please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. Poor Jerry, man. Me too. This is just me working at Burger King. I swear to God, people would, like, hit the window sometimes to, like, get your attention or, like, blare the horn while I'm trying to take an order. And I'm like, <laughs> Every time it happened, Greetings, ticket buffoon! My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. You're welcome. How can I help you today? Um, 
I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Sorry, I got a text. I'm a bad streamer, guys. Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a feasted hole to, like, to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! <laughs> How much would that cost? Two dollars. I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Aw, oh, shoot. I was so close, too. Oh, my god. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? Oh, no! My cover has been blown! <laughs> Look, sir... I'm only telling this because of your stench is going to drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Oh, shit. Isn't that for <laughs> romantic people? I <laughs> don't think of thing. Why are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, but... Didn't you say you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre trivial to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Nah, I'm a loner. Well, I guess that explains why you live so close to the woods. I live in the woods. That's a real shame about the loner thing, though. Why, well, you want to date me? Because the promotion we have on for Valentine's Day would have really come in handy otherwise. <laughs> you intrigue me, ticket man. Tell me more. Well. I love how it still says ticket guy, not Jerry. We don't give a shit. Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Oh, shit. Love from God's green earth is that? You right? <laughs> Love as well. Oh no. <laughs> Love is what happens when two grown ups are agreeing more than business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. No, please. Love makes me. <laughs> Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. What is this? What is this? When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to movies together and feed popcorn kernels to the rats and coat cockroaches there. <laughs> and I can't read, but this is really funny. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids. Wait forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you but makes six percent more per you than you. And you can finally have a good night's sleep. What were they? That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. You can somehow convince someone to bring you here. You can, I don't know, force them to pay you in, like a parasite. <laughs> All right, um, we're having a real um, venom, venom kind of moment here. I, this is breaking. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> that was breaking my shit. Granted, it'll take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh god fucking must source mates. Okay. Uh go do that. Away from here. I really wanna flirt with Jerry, but I, I already know he's not an option. And I honestly 
He has such low hopes for a relationship, honestly. I can't, I can't. That whole, like, dating Steve thing, yeah. Such low, low hopes. Just you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Please don't come back at all. Aw. It's Uh, I'm gonna cry. I'm- I love this game. I'm in love with this game. Chapter 1, the funfair date. Oh my god. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Ah, uh, sweet- Ah, uh, tent, sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent on, you know? Damn, I hate moving. <laughs> I like the great stuff option. Great stuff, let's go lay these eggs. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> the dog! Friendly reminder. You can bring up escape key. Including during- okay. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use the We're killed! Brilliant! Thanks, dog! What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't give up. Let's go. Where would you like to go? Um, to the park. Let's go to the park first. Let's just go. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah, the park. You could roll around on the nice spring grass. Unless if you. So what now? I'll lie on the grass. It's a relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, isn't this just tranquil? This is really quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. The only one you're. <laughs> the one you're only like two yards further away from. Yeah, the peaceful. <laughs> The old sphincter, all right? Sure. Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the grass here is laden with blades, which is another. It's a good thing that. No! I've been stabbed! What the fuck? <laughs> My arm. I'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> fuck my arm. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no. Me for real. Ouch. Yeah. I think I could see your scratch or two. What is happening to him? Why is he- This is why I hate nature and shit! Silence narrator. Bandy aid or ten. How is that even remotely fair? Shut up, you wounded crybaby. Back to the park we go then. <laughs> He's just shaking intensely. I'll be okay. Alright. Um. Go to the playground. Oh god. Uh, the playground. As long as you say. <gasps> he should be labeled. So what now? Measure the crowd. Perfect. <laughs> Child labor laws. I refuse to learn any lessons. Radio. Um. Summon a nearby kid. Children, <laughs> come gather around children. Little Billy. 
Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm four foot seven. Smell like grass, despite never touching it. <laughs> Me having a grass app on my phone, <laughs> and I <t> kids <laughs> grow up so fast nowadays. <laughs> a mere hatchling. <laughs> My tail hadn't even grown yet. I have a tail? Still wait for my bad boy to be grow. Scary green man? Say, aren't you not allowed to get 25 feet in this playground? Joke's on you. Vertically stunned. <laughs> Shit, Lord. <laughs> I measured the ground before summoning you. <sighs> I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal but still legal distance. You're less than 25 feet from me right now, though. No, uh -huh. We learned about two-digit numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo! Well, double jokes on you! <laughs> the law says that I can't get to them 25 feet of the playground! Not the little- <laughs> Technically, you approach me! I win! So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay. See you later, then. But, no, please, I need intel. I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about it. <laughs> Turns out she chicken sounds. <laughs> no, it's not that question this time. This time. Um, I'm okay, guys. I swear. What in the fucking world is this goddamn game? And why am I playing it? Then what is it? Can you fit me into the fun fair? No, I'm not taking a kid. What are the cool new words? Nah, fuck it, I'm done. You're dismissed, child. Yeah, fuck this kid. I do have a name, you know. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> the gone stunted one. <laughs> That's what people should start calling me. I am actually very short. Alright, later, bozo. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, uptown, dial town. Let's go. Stunted one. Uh, uptown, dial town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in downtown, dial town. <laughs> Why is it rainbow? Also, I can't say it. Speak. So what now? Um, oh, so what a local hobo. Hobo of Dialtown, I summon thee. Ha! Ah! Local hobo, yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleyways and such, but being a hobo isn't my main gig. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you now and parted out the cosmos and stars and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. No, I'm not gonna be mean. I mean, like, <laughs> buildings and society and shit. We do live in a society. <gasps> the Joker! Oh! Society! Oh! Whoa! Uh, Joker! Duh. No, not quite. You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box only to find a new species evolve? <laughs> evolve from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? Mm-hmm. Kick me, I'm gone. Okay, bud. This world is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. What's your favorite hobby, God? 
You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I fucking wanted to. Don't do that, guys. I don't recommend it, but still. Don't knock the <laughs> I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? Oh god! At least forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks. See? There we go. Punch god. If you're god, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for all this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning! Probably ate trash, knowing me. So, can you, like, come up with a meaning of life right now? Hello, frog! Sorry. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with a meaning of life? Shit, okay. Probably be, like, a million times more coherent than what I could think of. Eat or be eaten. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. I <laughs> don't think life has no meaning in your full of shit. I think, I think the meaning of life is to treat other people nicely. Okay, guys? Okay, nah, fuck that. That's un- <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I'm more likely to do skateboard tricks and eat. <laughs> How is that any more coherent? Hey, I said no- I said more likely, not more coherent. This is my universe we're dealing with, don't forget. Aren't you afraid you'll be- uh, I don't care, but I'm gonna punch God. Bah. You fool! Oh God! <laughs> oh my God, how can you kill a God? What a grown and intoxicating innocence! How could you be so naive? You just- Oh God! Jesus! Help! Okay, I pre- <laughs> You win this round, green one! Oh. Oh. I I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? I don't want to be with you. I've merely grown tired of you. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Uh, talk to a local bystander. How do you do, green partner? Oh god, Mikey, hello. Name is Mikey, which is short for my- Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Florida. <laughs> Me, Florida. Hello. <laughs> Chaos. Well, please make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do for you on this fine spring afternoon? Hello, can you take me to the fun part, please? Oh, shucks. I would, but don't get me wrong. But alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dial Town's new newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I was merely just trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fine fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. And you're lichen, pawn scum. Well, now ain't that quinky <laughs> dink? All of my bestsellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who's known more about parasitism in all of downtown. <laughs> Speaking of, let me know what I can do for you, cause any longer I'll be running tardy. Let's just go down. My current book's all about people parasites. Like what old me? Nah, people, you know? Flesh-colored bipedal critters. Flesh-colored means nothing to me. Flesh could be different colors. Yeah, fuck you. Can't say I've ever seen it in green, though. Don't suppose you wouldn't want a copy of my latest book. 
Parasites want to move out. Your mom's just not that into you too. Sure are, partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words that what I have to read? Yeah, I mean, it is a book. It's a hard pass. I can't read, guys. Oh, shucks. I can't say, can't say I didn't try. Oh, my God. Is that in part? Is that it, then, partner? I don't know, is it? No. Hey, Mikey, give me a parasite fact. You know, there is a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there is a critter out there, a little isopod called the tongue louse, that lives in the ocean, and oh boy. It crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off a fish's tongue, and becomes its new tongue. Honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I'd totally do. You know, you know, yeah, true. Thanks for the fact, my insides feel itchy now. Anytime, partner. So if you're into parasites... Are you... Are you into me? <laughs> Pal, no offense. I find you mildly upset at the gawket. None taken, I get that a lot. Shit. No, if you happen to have, say a few tape rooms, we're gonna... Oh my god. Give me a call! Isopod food. Oh. Oh. Isopod grub. <laughs> it's kinda edible. What kind of creature do you take me for? <laughs> yeah, look like you... <laughs> yeah, look like you probably eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right. I would. Is it kibble? Can I have some? Call me later and find out, partner. Yo, I got his number. Hey, yo. I'm already pulling. No, I'm sorry. For now, is that all? Yeah, bye bye. Right on then. Sign our apartment. <laughs> Alright. Where'd you like to go? Um. Whoa! Um. Downtown, dial town, outskirts of town. We don't need to go there yet. To the local park, we've been there. To your tent, we've been there. Local phone shop. Let's go to downtown, dial town first, since it's the first option. We ain't trying to make out what the people were saying. Whoa! <laughs> so what now? Uh, read the note. A nearby pole teleports directly to you. Cow the fuck! <laughs> you hope to notice something, anything that'll somehow help you get into the fun fair. Mm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. I am Frongles the Clown. What the fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Oh shit, I skipped that. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is... <laughs> exactly, he might as well be my uncle. Me. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? People don't lay eggs? YOU LAY EGGS! MY POINT EXACTLY! I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. With a red, bulbous tumor attached to your face. That fucking haunts! <laughs> they have gigantic shoes, and yet, and yet... They drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are <laughs> They truly are wretched creatures. I'm literally green with six nipples. Huh, no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so we should skip over Frongle's advert then? Fuck that, read the clown page, it might be funny. But you said- Fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page! <laughs> read the clown page! 
I'm reading, I'm reading it. Let's see here. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Frong with this clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but I'm now dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. Mm. I'll do just about anything for four dollars. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. Oh god. You think any task is too lowly for this clown? Four dollars, by god. You can, you can afford that. Come on, I have a chance. I have a chimp to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end, then. Yours hogfully, Frongles the Clown. Honk honk. Huh. Wow. I think the whiplash from hearing that is gonna make me buy I don't have corporeal form, and I think I might bum it. What even are you, physically? I guess I'm like, a disembodied voice. Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that you can only hear to rationally explain itself to you? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. You're fucking crazy, man! Stop following me around! That's good advice, I'm just gonna refuse to follow it. Okay, fuck it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, here's another one. Rent a chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you wanna take my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral side now that he's... <laughs> but just as adorable as ever! Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people! It's only four dollars, by god, you get a fort- <laughs> Okay, this is clearly that frongles. You chocolate! I actually chose the option, but I think it's really funny. You need to focus. Right, right, sorry, sorry. Are there any more advertisements latched onto that bow? Yeah, there's exactly one. Right, one more. <laughs> I want to call it, but I'm scared. Because I'm on stream. So. Okay, okay, if you insist. How are you gonna make the call? To the nearest phone booth away! Oh god. Alas, here we are. The Alltown's only phone booth. Since half of, like, all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say this thing hasn't had much use since then. Honestly, this booth feels larger on the inside. <sighs> oh, come on, is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum, and this dead raccoon... No, you'll just get attached. Stromboli. Stromboli. I actually really like Stromboli as a name. But I don't want to go with the basic one. So we're actually gonna... Rigatoni. What did I just say? Sorry, I did an accident! <laughs> His name is Rigatoni. You're not keeping it. I'm keeping it in final, damn it! Yes! I'm sorry. I'm very loud. I'm apologizing. I apologize profusely. Um, turn your volume down, maybe? Sigh. You ready? Sure I am. Read the number out. Good show. Glad to see some enthusiasm. The number is... Uh... Your enthusiasm was for naught. I don't get it. What's the number? It's, uh... 300... <laughs> I just need to get my shit ready to transition away from the game. <laughs> That's all I need to do. I'm very worried. You sure you're ready? 
I've never been more ready in all my life. Me hovering over the transition button. Huh? No dice. No! Did I type the schlong text right? Bastard phone! <laughs> Might be less a phone phone. Shit. Look. Point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're senseless. So what's the plan? I don't exist. You're standing in a phone booth alone, hoping a dead raccoon. He has a name, you know! <laughs> Fine, let's just make the call. Oh god. Oh god. Proxy. Hi. Oh shit, that I- <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Hi, never say that again. I'm s so worried. Oh. <gasps> Hi, my name is Randy Jade and I'm feeling Randy for you tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. That's quite all right, Randy. How are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, same as always, which is never great. Sorry about taking a while to pick up this phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, yes, of course I do. But it's only a side job. I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is laughably high. During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for downtown animal control. Kind of like... Doing a, in the middle of subduing a hostile swan right now. Oh no, the honking! No! <laughs> Wait, did you just say that you're fighting a swan? I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, and more that I'm trying my darnest to subdue and capture it before I wreaks havoc. It's you so Oh, you know. Probably just honk at a bus, maybe ruin a few family picnics, my god. Armageddon! I'm sorry, I... I got caught up in our swan talk. You see, most of my pos customers call kinda, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to... <laughs> uh, with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12-hour sh... At the Dalton Battery Factory. I feel like this has happened to him before. I mean, no offense. <laughs> You're fucking horrendous at this job. I don't want to insult him. Local battery factory, say? Would you want to know? Nestling location for a heavily pregnant friend's eggs? I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? Beggars can't be choosers. The <laughs> second option. <coughs> and there are some choices I would have made if I weren't on stream. Are you kidding me? If I even found someone willing to tolerate my presence. That's marriage material. I am literally the scum of the earth. Look at me. I'm green. I have six nipples. Come on, man. That or they're just acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. What? Don't pick this one, please. Home slice? I'll politely ask him. Are you... Are you asking me out on a date? <laughs> yeah, thanks for noticing. Gee whiz, this is... I've never been asked out on a date before. <laughs> Usually I'm the dude who has to pay people to go out uh, for coffee with me. 
and to resist the urge to throw this scalding beverage in my face during the sword ordeal taking me out. Uh-huh, so you're in? Sure as heck am! What am I- what do I have to lose? Wait until you see me. Well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. I... Taking a picture of that. I'm gonna remember this. Um, because that is fucking gold. That's what that is. That quote, fucking gold. That's gonna be my Discord status. Oh my god. Uh, one moment. Let me just set my Discord status. No, I'll set it later. Alright. Good motto. Words to live by. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, kind of at work right now, and you know, this one isn't going to wrangle itself. I am heavily pregnant. Yeah, I understand. It is now or never, Randy. <laughs> All right, I guess I could leave in a few minutes. Take your time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run so I'll get all sweaty and you can't smell the scent of swan massacre and desperation over my overwhelming body odor. If my manager asks later, I'll say that the swan won. It always does anyway. Catch you at the fun fair, my sweet. Aw. Don't call me that. Oh no! See you later, cutie pie! <laughs> Thanks for thank the phone lord that my pants were on. <laughs> Did he just piss himself? Oh, he either pissed himself- Alright, I'm just gonna go with he pissed himself. Well then, looks like you've weaseled your way into the fun fair. <laughs> what do you think of him, personally? I find him often- I find him amazing! My Jimmy! Yeah, 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 yeah! Sorry. <laughs> I find him amazing. Perfect. I love Randy. I love Randy already. Well, what about you? I think he's cute! I'm surprised in all honesty. You aren't? Nope. <laughs> I mean, you eat roadkill. After all, what is Randy, if not the dateable equivalent of roadkill? What the fuck? Come on, let's go. We've got a date to attend. <laughs> Guys, I'm pooling. I can pool. I swear. So what now? <laughs> date! Go to the date! We must see Randy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just reading this in my head. I apologize, guys. You honestly think that you could succeed? <laughs> so what now? <gasps> I can't go yet. I can't go yet. Wait. <gasps> Doleful raccoon noises. The raccoon can. Oh. Okay. I can't go. I have to do more stuff. OMG floor is getting bitches. Let's explore more of downtown Dialtown first. Me thinks. Local passerby. Well, oh, well done. All right. You need something in my. Who you? Oh, 
Definitely no beef. Uh, what? My name's Nate. I hate- I hate you because of the font that you have. Hanover... Governor. <laughs> Governor. <laughs> Bloody well tough to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Sorry for me, Ace, mate, but I'm running with him. <laughs> for a very important date. What's gotten you in a hurry, then? Well, I've got a... Go to a charity gig that I'm holding. <laughs> I don't want to read it in the accent. For alcoholic dogs, yeah? You mean God? Right piss the mongrels are. Gotta get. <laughs> brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Posture check. How, how the fuck did you know? How did you know? I'm literally. Like, if you felt my back, you can, like. It, there's a. Like, there's a bump. There's a bump between my neck and my back. And. Hold on, let me just. Crack my entire back real quick, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> like a glow stick. It went- it cracked all the way up my spine, bro. But I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. And if you're quick, be right chuffed. You ever met God? Boy, the bum, yeah? Yeah, he created the whole universe in that. <laughs> I'm falling down fall face down into a puddle yesterday. Well, Grim. Um Imagine a ghost, yeah. But like it's stuck in a bloody contraption. Uh-huh. And so I'm from inside the machine, yeah? But the screens are like music and that. Uh-huh. Don't mention it. Save the magic to me then. Okay. Good luck with your whatever. Yeah, bye. Stretch. I always know because I'm the exact same way. Shut up. I can't even read that like comprehensively. Like I'm having Get home, watch some foot. I'm done with you. Get out of my get out of my fucking sight. Get out of my fucking sight. Talk to a different passerby. Oh my god. Oh, huh. Oh. I'm sorry, Roger. Love you to death, man. But you've got to work on those nerves. Surely just saying hello <laughs> would suffice. I know, Peter. It's just the green one is looking at us. I think he wants something. Well, turn around and ask the nice man what he wants. Alright, of course. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. The name's Roger. The name's Peter, by the way. In case you haven't heard, Peter. Right, yes. Anyway. We're happy to answer any questions, provided you ask them quick. Our lunch break will be over any minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta be get back to work, you know? Are these the gay businessmen? Hey, nice hat. Hey, thanks. I find it makes my head complete. Why doesn't your friend have a hat? I don't do hats, I'm afraid. I can see this. This divide between you. The festering gap growing in your friendship. The difference of ideologies. This will only lead to war. Hey, I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have a sweet summer child. Be silent. <laughs> <laughs> Only darkness now! The, f <laughs> the fucking sound effect. Peter, help! <laughs> Who are you two anyway? What do you contribute to the world? What do I contribute to the world? I'm fucking green. That's an existential question. What is a man's worth? His merits, his morals, his legacy. I think he wants us to tell him about the <laughs> daily grind, Roger. Oh. Sorry, sorry. We work over the Dialtown Mechanics Plant. The old one off Main Street. <laughs> the one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago, before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work there together. He does assembly. And I'm his manager. Wait, you're his manager? Wait, wait, I thought it was the other way around, actually. 
<laughs> well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, our old manager ran into the assembly floor, papers shuffling frantically in hand. He said our plant was going through some new changes, and one of us was going to have to be promoted to his old position. Was he promoted? To a corpse, yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nasty bit of business, that. Uh-huh. Turns out the guy had ties with the Dialtown mob, and the cops finally caught up with him. Oh, shit. Another jumping off a 40-story... That's That says four, guys. Four. F-O-U-R. Four. Story window onto one of the trampolines we just manufactured. What a lousy way to learn that... Oh... Oh no. I figured phone lord. If he can pass his old job to me, maybe he could pass his crime to me, you know? Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. You hid and cried under the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Oh, shit. Me for real, for real? Yeah, but he didn't know that. Say, so why did he pick you to be your manager and not your friend? Your friend's... <laughs> not being... That's so mean. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Roger's assembly line was simply close to the door, and thus the closer the manager right as he entered. Okay, this is making a lot of sense. Speaking of, we have to get back to the plant. Oh. Oh, nobody. Uh, speaking of... Yeah. Bye. <laughs> if you ever need a job, I don't. <laughs> Never toil. <laughs> I'll die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. Me for real, for real. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Uh, huh. Um... Wait, I'm gonna see... Could I go to... A fun fair? Oh my god, I didn't know I had to actually go to the <laughs> You've got a date to catch. I'm just not reading. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to meet Randy, guys. God? Hi, me again! You can access the venue at any time using the escape key. Okay. Also, oh! Nice. Appears every time I'm around. Okay. Thank you, and don't forget. Better save than sorry. Okay. You right, you right. Oh no. Hey, sugar, miss me? Take it dirty, my friend! We aren't. Fun lord, help me. Why can't I just have an average day at work? Look. Sir, as I said, I'm not willing to just let you off, uh, just let you in just to get you off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner, he's coming. Who is he? Randy! <laughs> Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you in the fun fair? Or is this some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird... Stomach enzymes evolve, a gaping hole in our fence for you to climb through. Damn, I wish I'd come up with that idea myself. Yeah, I figured to be able to do that. You look like you spit acid. Is it the green acid? Yeah, among other physical <laughs> Hi, Asylum! This alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know? Wait. Randys? Randy? Randy? 
Sorry. Point is, I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be pretty, really pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Caustic smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I'm glad Randy's got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Quite a pity that it's with a literal cryptid who just wants to use him as a pawn in his egg laying plan. Judge me not, fleshy ticket dispenser. <laughs> I really love the cursed options! Pathetic. <laughs> oh, I didn't read it! I can and will judge you! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm late. Look at him! <laughs> Fuck face! I had to roll around in a puddle to get the swan blood off my clothes for the big that is so lovely. Um, what? <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? We both know the blood was exclusively mine. But hey! You look marvelous. <laughs> Egg time being the biggest thing on my screen makes me want to die. I still have the raccoon on me, by the way, guys. I still have rigatoni. So do you, Randy? You look cuter than I pictured over the phone! Oh, I... Do you really... Randy, I know your brains are probably all scrambled from the accident and then the numerous <laughs> swan mullings, but come on, man. Don't fall for this, hun this honeyed words. What are you talking about, Jerry? He's using you, Randy. We have a two-for-one ticket promotion for Valentine's Day couples. He just wants you to pay him in so he can lay his eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean... Yeah, I... I knew that. You knew? <laughs> and still you came? Beggars can't be choosers, Jerry. Randy. Fine, it's your funeral, I suppose. That'll be two dollars then, Randy. Okay. I should have two dollars. I, uh... Oh no. Maybe slightly less? You know what? Just go right in, Randy. Really? Yeah. I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for today. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Let's go with this romance like a couple of old lovebirds! Please! <laughs> it is hers. Hey, I may be no man, but I... I... Okay, you know what? I'm just happy to be directly referred to in any context that isn't so crushing these After you. Oh, and I still went first! The fuck? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, this is chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> well, here we are, my love. The Dialtown Funfair and all its grease-soaked safe- Safety inspection failing glory! Oh, hell yeah, sounds like my kind of place. So, my love, what shall we do for eggs? Oh. Alright. I'm gonna just, uh... Lay those right now? You know, get it over with? quickly brace myself sure all right if you need to i guess i've never laid eggs before myself <laughs> not that i can you know i'm sure it's hard to do without a 
Deficient. Fuck, I didn't read it, guys! I'll just do it. Just, 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna. I know this part has audio. Pained grunting. Okay, it doesn't have audio. Good. Agonized grunting. You okay, hon? Just stretch roaring. What's the matter? Aren't you like heavily pregnant? I've got stage fright. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what now? Shit. Could always go on a few rides. So you can shake the eggs out of my gut. Wow, that's absolutely wretched. But I mean, I guess we could <laughs> ride eggs now. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> this dude, I'm so sorry. I love Randy. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Could this be? Could this feel like you'd love? Oh no! Have I fallen for Randy? No way. It's just your eggs squirming. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the whole. Fun lord, I think I'm gonna hurl. I swear, if I have to go on one more vomit coaster. Fear not, dear Randy. I'm ready to lay my eggs. Oh, good then. Right, uh... Right here? Yes. This ditch is squalid and dank. Damp and thoroughly moist. In close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh... Do you need me here for this, or... Fetch me a hot dog mating partner! I mean, I can do that, sure. Egg laying is a strenuous ordeal. I require- you require sustenance. I can't- I can't even read. I hate games that make me read, because I can't fucking read. Fine, fine. I'll, uh... I'll be right back. With one quality fairground wiener. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? We both know that there'll be rat tails, pig bo pig hooves, and horse turkey in the sausage. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess it's time to- No! The noises! The sounds of the damned eggs! Five of them! Huh. Oh, would you look at that? My babies. <laughs> Neanderthal grunting. They're uh, beautiful. Proud Neanderthal grunting. Hey, huh? I'm back. The hot dog. Huh. Suppose these would be your eggs then. Aren't they beautiful, Randy? I'm <laughs> bad, Randy. <laughs> I always like the pink options. Yeah, they're... They're quite, uh... Green! Oh shit, I couldn't read it. In this case, less greener. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Truth be told, I never really laid an egg before. So, uh... What now? There's some topsoil over the eggs, and... Good, my babies are safe and sound. Okay, so like, the eggs have been laid, but this night is still young. We should like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. Deem! <laughs> oh yeah, what should we do first? Go play some dumb carnival games? Raid the hot dog stands? Wouldn't I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, hold 10 meters that away. Oh dear. It appears Randy wants you to walk 11 yards to your left. Fuck, oh fuck! I just laid a fuck ton of eggs. My legs are jelly. My legs are limp and flaccid. Yeah, also, never use a. <laughs> what do? What do? 
Oh, hold on. My my shit's breaking. Hold my my apologies. Just look for something to do. Something slightly closer than ten meters. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. I couldn't read it. I'm sorry. Sorry. What? So maybe stop talking to me in front of Randy. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a wounded feral. I am a wounded feral animal. Hun, are you all right? Do you need a glass of water or whatever combo of whiskey and bat nectar? <laughs> panic! You just said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller! What? Look, Randy! What? Exactly two easily crawlable. <laughs> two easily crawlable meters that away. Mm hmm. Is that- Oh, fuck! Fuck! Mediocre! <laughs> Look. I don't know, I kinda have a- That sounds like a bad idea, but dear Randy. Don't you want to gaze into your future? My present is already bad enough. And that sign says the machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing the next, hopefully, much much less than 40 years of misery I have left when this hellscape of an orb that uh, at all once destroyed the last fabric of my, okay, future. Look, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, I'll see you around, you know? No, Randy! I miss him! Hold on. My shit got fucked again. Alright. I don't be mean. You can't rock, rot if you don't actually exist. Big smiles. Bassard! <laughs> Let's crawl home then, ah uh, shit. Goodbye, my children. I will return to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle of life and all that shit. Let's just go. Am I immortal? How long have I been alive? How long? Duh! Rooster clock! Whoa! <clears throat> ah, yes, the nest. I love the radioactive sign. Ah, uh, here I am, awake and f fortunately alive! Another fine morning indeed. Any distraction of some kind? Huh? Fuck! God damn it! Did you know that dragons are actually real, just really high up in the sky? Since they're all invisible. You are a liar. How dare you feed me such falsehoods. The epitome of worthless lies. Oh dear. Did you know that ketchup is actually tomato nectar? You're just distracting me from not. He's fine. You could, uh, stare your light bulb up close for a while? Try to burn your optical senses out so you don't have to see how boring your sounds <laughs> just sound around. Sorry, that's not short time. Fuck! Surroundings are? Capital idea! I told you guys I can't fucking read. Let's see here. Uh, please just let me stare at the light. Ah! God, that's a lot of flies. Are they fucking microphones? Sure is. Guess it'd help if you clean the place up. It's still February. I'll get started my yearly clean later. You're actually gonna remember to get it done this year without child labor, that is. Maybe. Really a no, isn't it? Mm hmm. How would I change the scenery? Where would I even go? I don't know. Go to the local bench? I have to sit down? Well, legally, no. But why go otherwise? I don't know, but my. <laughs> what? Egg laying isn't something I do daily, you know? Fine, you know what? I'm gonna go to the bench and not sit down, that's fine too. Fuck, what did I say? Okay, whatever. I'm dumb. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, isn't this serene? Bench! That's right, Frada, you fucking weirdo. This isn't really engaging to me, to be frank. Uh, well, yeah, you managed to sit down on the bench despite your. Ex 
<laughs> but not really much of an active activity other than trying not to look too agonized. Let's passing strangers. Get to get to get. What now? You could always look around and gaze at local scenery. Delightful, yes. Oh my god. Wow. Pink today. Behold, trees. Hello, trees! Christ, you're easily amused. You're right, but I also bore easily. Okay, I'm bored again. Why not wait a while before using up this destruction? God, the boredom is unbearable! Seriously? Okay. Let's go look at something else. Help me. Oh my god, it's a swan. Behold, the mighty swan. Huh. You know, it's been a long time since I've ever seen one of these puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies. They're swans. Swans! S-W-A-N-S! Shh, please hush now. Make me. Is the voice gonna drown me? Oh. Hello? God, these things are terrifying up close. Why do we have to give them paper shredders for head? Heads. The fantasy of having office swans was a ridiculous one, alright? And a messy one. Uh-huh! It just occurred to me why Randy has bandages on his hands since he has to wrangle <laughs> these feather shredder dinos on a daily basis. Yeah. That's a guy, alright. Wait a moment. Companionship. If I find Landy, he can, like, say and do stuff and... Say and do stuff to and in front of me. Mm-hmm. Which will, like, cure my boredom, mayhaps. Yeah, that's the idea of social interaction, anyway. Really? To alleviate boredom? Well, yeah, kind of. Please refer to the handy interaction pentagon. X benefits. Love giving and receiving it. Uh huh. Bug fact. Ooh. Alleviating boredom, violence, and such. Glad that one's low. Um, I do enjoy the tax benefits. Brilliant. As you can see, boredom is the key reason why we interact with others. With bug facts, violence, tax benefits, and love being the four less important reasons. Violence. It's not good. Why bug facts? I just think they're neat. Anywho, you should find Randy then. Might end up curing your chronic boredom. Where is he? Where is my Randall? Well, I don't know! I have no clue where he could be right now, to be frank. Why not go ask around town? No, I can't read. You're really bad at this. Downtown's a big place for me. Off of me, baby, little one! If only could feel the contempt that I hold for you. Cripped it away! <laughs> Scuttling again! Oh my god. Yes. Chapter 2! Please help me. <laughs> Buckface, no. Ba 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 da da. I just got a text from my mother. Combo combo deal. Oh my. B uh-huh. Hold on, my mom wants something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my mom wants something. I'm trying to figure out what she wants. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, I will be right back.
I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Alright. Okay, stop texting me. Ah! Oh, dear! Fuck! Cat! Yes! Reading! I swear there was no context to all of that. No, there wasn't. He just started drawing about whatever that was as soon as he appeared. Am I interrupting something? Nah, nah, partner. I was just having a chat with the big man upstairs. Big man? Was that a fat joke? I could smite you, you know. Oh god, he's pissed. Guys, help, he's pissed. Probably. Firstly, you know you wouldn't do that little old me all. This should be besties. Secondly, nah, big man upstairs just means god. Yeah. It just mean yeah. Oh. I don't care for that expression much. After all, why would why would a being that can fly need stairs? You can fly? Burner, I ain't never seen you fly. I could probably fly if I wanted to. <laughs> that look cool, I bet you look majestic soaring through the air. You know what, I agree. Speak for yourself, partner. I am speaking for myself. <gasps> He's so insulting. <laughs> Maximum efficiency. Mm -hmm. May not look. <laughs> you may not look like it, but this is what the ideal hobo body <laughs> looks like. My blubber keeps me warm. Your blubber keeps you warm. In my incarnation, do you sleep in soggy cardboard? <laughs> soggy card. My blubber is also coveted by predators. You have pockets. Why oh, would you need a wallet? Speaking of wallets, say <laughs> you couldn't spare a dime, could you? God damn it! This is grim. <laughs> say, partner. What has he gawking at us? Whoa, 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 what has he gawking at us anyhow? I can't read. It's it's already hard enough for me to read normal fucking English words, and then you throw this shit at me. What is this? What is this? What is this game dev? Game dev, I can't read this. I can, but I can't. I can, but I cannot. And it hurts. It hurts. I got us the fun there. No, fortunately, my oozing egg clutch <laughs> has <laughs> I've already been laid on the funfair grounds. Mm, I'm just gonna stop thinking about what I'm saying. Right now, I'm just bored and seeking companionship. I'm just gonna stop thinking about the words that are coming mo out of my mouth and just start saying them. I'm sure that's helpful. I'm sure that's fucking lovely. Well, then, partner, you've come to the right place. We're just... Oozing with companionship, aren't we, God? Replace the onion in companionship with onion, and maybe I'll put you me. No onions. I seek specific company. I seek the company of Randy Jade. Randy? Who's that? Say, ain't he one of the fellows who picks up at the. Um. <laughs> Well, not lately. Besides, <laughs> so something seemed to be eating the poor man up. Last time I did call. I think cowboys scare the poor guy. What I don't get is how you know who Randy is, and God somehow doesn't. If he's God, shouldn't he be all-knowing? In fairness, partner, he's also constantly inebriated, so the numbers gotta be capped at, like... 50% of everything at most. I do know a few goodies, though, so I'm content with 50%. Okay, like what? Did you know that Florida's gonna sink in the ocean lake in 10 years? Anyone who tries to escape the sinking will just be dragged into the swamp water by tamed gators. The four horsemen of the... 
Oops. Actually tamed the gators back in prehistoric times, but we didn't notice since the horseman ain't exactly walking around right now. Being buddy butters with the gators and shit. Wow, that's equal parts of fantastic, fascinating and horrifying. A soup, soup man, soup guy, soup guzzler man. Hello, what's up, home slice? I'm gonna try to view my chat from my phone because my chat's being a bitch on my computer. Yeah, just wait till the end of the world comes. Oh shit. You think this world is a shit show? You should see what's coming next. Anywho, partner. I'm sorry that we don't know what your pal is. But if you have any other questions for us, we No. Leave me alone. What is up, my man? I fucking this game. This game, this fever dream of a fucking game. And I, the fact that I can't read just makes it worse. It makes it worse. I was gonna say it makes it better. It doesn't. It doesn't make it better for anyone. It makes it fucking worse. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it and I want to be able to read properly, but I can't. I can't. I can't and I just have to accept that I can't read. Good luck, friendo. Hope you find your sexy ring ring, bud. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. Here's Helmley Dog Man. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking read. It sucks. I, I I'm just trying to survive this chapter. Um, alright, let me think. We gotta find Randy. But I haven't checked out the phone shop, cinema, and the bank yet. But I feel like that's like all side shit. We're gonna, we're gonna try to find Randy. We're gonna focus on Randy. Talk to a near passerby. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey there. You need something, friend? Who you identify yourself? Oh, uh, I'm a. Call me Harry if you'd like. Sorry. Is there anything specific I can help you out with? I'm running late for work. If I'm on the door even a moment after noon, Mr. Kennedy will have my hide for brunch. Which he eats at the ripe hour of 5 p.m. <laughs> I like your suit. I thank you. They say you should dress for the job you want and not the job you have. That being said, the person who came up with that saving probably never had a cleanest. Hmm. I sincerely apologize on behalf of my moist scutter <laughs> brethren. Thanks. You're welcome. Guessing that sliminess isn't doesn't indicate sliminess doesn't indicate a lack of empathy. Fair assumption, to be frank. I've never seen a slug show remorse in my life, come to think of it. Riveting slug talk aside, I really need to be getting back to work, so if you speed this up a tad. Have you seen Harry? Rand ha Harry, have you seen Randy? Randy, Randy. The name rings a bell, alright? Where would I know of him from? You ever seen a man get dragged away by a straw? A <laughs> swan kicking and screaming? Oh, that Randy. I'll be honest with you, it's been a long time since I ever ran into him. I remember you used to work at the nearby burger joint and asked me if there's any jobs going on at the fast food place I worked at over a uh, while back. Just between us, Randy's a nice guy and all, but I can't pick some picture him in a sweaty bear suit. I'll slip up some things and... Anywho, if Randy asks, tell him to say 
far away from bear. I'm... Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. No, not bears. Bear. It's the name of restaurant I work at. Yeah. Who in God Green's Earth names their fast food joint Bear? I don't fucking know. We should inquire. Uh huh. Anywho, could always ask around at the Dial Town Burger Joint. I think the name of the place is Bunny's Burgers, if I call correctly. Never been myself. Heard the guy who owns it is a huge hecker man, though. Okay. Shoes me away every darn time I sneak at the windows of his restaurant. Damn. Granted, couldn't be worse than my boss. You ever smell a rotten body before? <laughs> Next question. Huh. Alright then. Well, if you think a corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Yeah. You honestly think a creature that hasn't blinked in a decade knows what a legally mandated toilet is? Yeah, if you want to find Randy, I'd ask at the nearby. Okay. Thanks, Harry, your star! Aw, shucks. Okay, sir. I'll see you on the flip side then. Bye, Harry! Where's the burger joint burger? We're making progress, guys. We're gonna find him. We're gonna find Randy. We're gonna find Randy. It's gonna be awesome. Well, Florida. Can you see Randy in there? I have mole vision, man. Ten plus feet away beyond my visual reach. Oh, right. I forgot if you're involved for, like, dimly lit, squalid, and dank environments. The hustle and bustle of the city scares my scaly rodent brain. You see anyone there running from swans or begging for change, perhaps? Alas, no to both. Well, that's all I've got. Unless you want to sniff at the glass, perhaps? Do you have any other ideas? Sniff. Yes, sniffing noises. <laughs> No! No! No, I'm the boss! Bunny the burger, man! Hey, you! We've spoken about this, you literal cryptid! Get away from the glass or all Randy. Randy? Yeah, what about him, then? Someone told me that he used to work here. <laughs> well, yeah, he did. But I fired him that lot a long time ago. Hasn't stopped him from burning under my skin, though, like the human tick he is. Don't call him that! That's my man's. You know what they say? You can give a man an inch. And then Randy lives in your dumpster. <laughs> nice, so have you seen him around here? Dumpster! Go check my dumpster, you moron! Uh, odd. At least the pay he pays for inch, which... <laughs> which means, at least... <laughs> I can't read that it compensates for my wasted time, unlike some people. Yeah, um... Then please, phone lord, go take that hint. Listen, I know God, shut up. I'm... <laughs> Bitch. Let's go to the dumpster! Oh my god, the cat. Oh, it moves! Well, here we are, behold, dumpster. Where is he? Call out to him, Florida. <laughs> Use your voice. Randall! I summon thee! Hey, hold on a moment, I'm... <laughs> please don't leave, unless you're angry, tax man, in which case, please do. <laughs> Hun, it's me, it's Florida. Oh, oh, phone lord. Definitely don't go anywhere. Hold on. Yes! He loves me. <laughs> it's so good to see you. 
I haven't scrubbed the wax out of my receiver pores. You look nice. Ah! Fuck you, asshole. I look fucking splendid. Fuck you. No, I'm gonna flirt with him. You're not that bad looking yourself, my garbage nectar soaked hunk. Winky face. Please don't tell me that me being soaked in garbage juices. It might be. I'm not saying that. Would you rather I despise you for it? To be frank, given the options, I think I would. Then I can at least pretend that you were a productive member of society. Kinda hard to do that. I am green. I guess you got me there. Welcome to the Casa del Randy, I suppose. Don't bother wiping your feet. They'll just get filthy again as soon as you enter. Trash is my element, Randy. My feet are <laughs> literally can't get any dirtier. You're so right about that. I mean, I know you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was a... Like, the smell of your eggling juices, maybe? <laughs> but alas, you were also indeed correct. <laughs> yeah, I, I assumed as much. I've never seen an egg <laughs> being laid that didn't come out moist, and boy, do swans turn, out, turn a lot of those things out. Hmm. Okay, bud. Right, right, swan eggs, indeed. This, uh, this whole poverty thing you've got going on. You know, living in a dumpster, working awful jobs and whatnot. Why did you choose this lifestyle anyway? How'd you end up in this boat? Yeah, why'd you choose this? Why'd you do this? I didn't, uh... Like, don't get me wrong, that's an excellent question, but boy oh boy, I don't want to answer it. I can be nice in this game? I'm in love with him. <laughs> Die, but spoken out loud. Thanks for the concern, but nah. I need to get all of this drivel off my chest. Oh shit. But not here. That gentleman doesn't just brandish his unmentionables in any old burger place alley. Do you want me to come inside? Please do, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 um. Got a letter or something? Nah, I'll just have to shimmy your body over the rim of the dumpster to get inside. On the plus side, I've dug out a small slope made of garbage to make the downward part easier. Well, that's something at least. Onwards and upwards we go, dear Randy, into the trash. Ah, oh, lovely. I love when my man lives in a dumpster. <laughs> he's got a- he's got a chair! Well, here we are! Place looks uh, a little nicer from the outside, doesn't it? I'm bad at comparing shitty things, Randy. Ouch. You know I'm right. Okay, fair enough. You are correct. This place is pretty crummy, I admit it. The outside probably just looks better for me because half the time I see the outside, I'm leaving home to go somewhere nicer. Like work, which is, come to think of it, really no nicer than here. Between being here or being mauled by swans, I'd blow my brains out. <laughs> That's encouraging. Still, gonna jot that suggestion down for later. <laughs> Just in case. So, uh... About that tragic backstory of yours? Oh, right, uh... Well, look, much like myself, my life story is pretty needless and pathetic. You see, it all started when I was born. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of, years of age. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I just lay in my own feces until it got changed. Sounds awful, but at least hatchlings like me can hunt from the start. 
Uh, but look how far you've come! I'm living in a dumpster! Exactly! Nowadays you can walk, you can talk, and now you get to lie in other people's feces! <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds like a solid 3% less pathetic. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but it's still a whole 3% less pathetic than it was 10 seconds ago. Were you telling me about your dreadful life? Oh, right. Well, you know, I've largely lived a perfect, perfectly adequate life. Perfectly adequate, bordering on mediocre, that is. I had an admittedly rather lousy apartment, worked full-time at the burger place, whose dumpster we're squatting in right now. Then one day I decided to do something I'd rarely done before. I decided to try something new. <laughs> Uh, well, that's not hard to see looking at my current surroundings. Sorry, let me continue. I decided to go for the fun fair. Go to the fun fair, the same one that you and I visited on our first date yesterday in this timeline. Oh, interesting. That explains how you knew each other. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry's incredibly familiar with both me and the immense um, haze of misfortune that always seems to follow me around. I am now the embodiment of your misfortune. You're welcome. At least it's contained. By the way, Jerry really doesn't seem comfortable around you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's probably just because of my constant unsolic unsolicited flirting. <laughs> but the spirit's there. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I... Clowns aren't even real. Or so the government must us think. So I continue. Well, after realizing that I was too much of a shameless coward for any ride, Move faster than the hot dog stand, which was stationary. I realized my taste was getting really bored with my crippling cowardice. Oh shit! I desperately gazed around for the nearby, uh, around the nearby vicinity for an attraction, any attraction I was brave enough to go on. I noticed something off in the not so distant distance. Oh no! Oh no! His backstory: an old fortune teller, animatronic. Inside a tacky purple pine and glass case, cast aside in a barely lit corner of the funfair, far away from the other attractions. Ah, here we go, this is starting to make sense now. I feel like I'm about to find out why you bailed at the end of our date. Yeah, the thing is, that thing looked half deserted, and you know what? It probably was, being a tricky and a tacky and electronic shoved into a barren corner of the funfair. From what I could see, only spiders and mold seemed to take much notice of the machine. My favorite. My favorite combo. But even the name of the machine fit its appearance. Madam Mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as if the machine and I were somehow kindred. Anywho, deciding to approach that thing ended up being a train rack and a half. Did the machine fall on your foot or something? No! I- did it steal your date? Not literally, no. Then what happened? I was getting to that part. I crept over to the old machine and carefully slipped a quarter into its coin slot. My last quarter. And just like that, the machine sprang to light- life, lights and all. Then a hazy, pre-recorded voice emanated from the small speaker embedded to the mannequin's torso. Place your hands upon my glass and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified, admittedly. I mean... I already had a real live woman next to me as it is, and it might as well have been a triple date at that point. My date reassured me and... 
and I slowly outstretched both of my hands to place them against the murky old glass of the machine. Beautiful. The moment my palm so much as brushed the surface of the glass, the machine started screaming at, at me as if I should set off an air raid siren. Same words over and over again at a, def a deafening volume. You for your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. Go fuck yourself. Over and over and over again. Oh shit! What did I say? No! <laughs> yeah, definitely got the t next 10 or so seconds right anyway. I'm not gonna lie, what followed X is my friend. And Phone God forbid my, forbid my tortured gonads <laughs> actually managed to spew out any kids. <sighs> oh no. What did you do? Well, my fight or flight is just fun. Oh no, and then the machine fell on your foot! Why do you could just... You're saying that it definitely didn't. In a way, I guess it did. The machine fell straight on top of me. Whole body. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sit boiling and had to be all I was pinned under it. It took four men to lift the machine off me. I was pretty banged up, but hey, I noticed that my head was just about in one piece. The place has got the Nokia phone, meaning I was still very much alive. Christmas miracle. Wasn't Christmas. Yes. I stumbled around, admittedly having a pretty gnarly concussion. My day asked if I was okay, and I, uh... I just stumbled hand first and... I'm okay. I hurt my head. What she responded to? You spilled your disgusting cranium innards all over the place? God, how embarrassing. I woke up in the emergency room a few days later. Apparently, the doctors just about managed to pack me up with some considerably dif considerable difficulty. Oh. Well, the blunt trauma of the impact kind of dented and broke most of my internal- Hmm. My brains and whatnot, you know. The docs were just about to get everything back in place, one piece, but really struggled to fit, fit the misshapen parts back into my head. The main surgeon bandaged my head back up and chatted to me while applying the bandage. Mentioned in passing that Due to the difficulty of getting all the bits of my brain, skull, broken glass, and phone pieces back in my head, and if I took the bandage off for even a second, kaboom. Oh my god, why? <laughs> the doctor put dynamite in your head? No. He meant that my head would explode on its own. You know, pop like a gigantic oozing pimple. Mm hmm? Ha! <sighs> So that's why you're wearing that bandage even now, correct? Even now, if I were to take it off for even a moment. What I don't get is why your bandage has fuckface written on it. Oh, right. That. So basically, while Doc was putting the finishing touches on my bandage, I was telling him about my evening, uh, meh. My evening from my mediocre date to the machine falling on me. The Doc laughed and stated that it was just quite a small hormone because his daughter- Oh... Yeah. 
Yikes. Why don't you just, you know, wash it off? I tried, believe me, as soon as I got home, I tried. Yeah, wait, why? It's steep in the fibers. Tread water, soapy water, bleach, drain cleaner. Not have drank the green drain cleaner, admittedly. Sorry, continue. <laughs> well, I must have passed out from the drain cleaner few because I, uh... Three days late. High as a kite and holding a possum in my arms. Hold on, I gotta fix my... Needless to say, yeah, okay. Damn. Damn. Losing the apartment and, you know... Lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my self-respect, and my hope for a better future, but I gained a possum. Please tell me you kept the possum. I didn't so much keep it. Just kind of followed me home. I think it believes that it's my mother. Oh, it loves you! I have a raccoon. It keeps screaming at its own hat. It just keeps screaming. <laughs> Knows no love, only screaming. Oh, hey, there he is right now. He's adorable. He's flea ridden. You're just jealous. Of what? His fleas? Shit, I'm. God damn it. I'm not. I mean. You've just met him, and I die for him, Randy. I love him. Look, paw semantics aside, I been renting this dumpster for my old boss since it's technically the cheapest property in town. And I still barely make enough to pay that hungry bastard's couchy rent with how much money I lose from getting mugged by hostile birds and losing tips by depressing <laughs> weirdo customers who- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I- I can't stand for this anymore. This place is depressing enough as is. <laughs> Reliving while I'm here is just- Oh my god, can he move in with me? Wait, can he move in with me? <gasps> the tent! Made me realize that at this rate I'm going to die in here, cuddling this discarded body pillow in a randy-made nest, compromised solely of used syringes and old newspaper. Statistically improbable. If anything will drop you for good, it'll be the swans. Thanks for the words of encouragement. I, I'm gonna rant and complain up a storm. Yeah, that'll do it, alright. Need to get out of here. I wanna see the world! Okay, scratch that. The world's scary and hostile and it's made out of paper and other such fragile things. I need to see somewhere that isn't here. Hang on a second. How long have we been talking for? I'm late for work, aren't I? Oh no, oh god no, oh no, 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 no. Wow, that's pretty cringe, bro. Yeah, go nuts. No, you don't understand. All of that I have nothing to lose talk was just talk. I could lose my dumpster. That's all I have left. Oh, phone god, there's somehow a place even lower for me to sink to. I can't go back to the streets, man. I reek of desperation. Actual alpha male thugs will smell my whimpering cowardice and instantly attempt to mug me. And when they realize I have nothing left to take, they'll take their frustration out. Oh my god. Are you okay, bud? Worry not, I'll protect you. I'll fight them. <laughs> oh sure, so you spit cryptid acid onto a few thugs for me, but what then? What of my life? I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose this job. I need to get this to work. I'm sorry I have to just issue like this. You deserve better. You've been nicer to me than anyone else so far and I have no idea why. Okay, fine. You haven't actually been that consistently nice to me. But I have nobody else left. 
Let's see what I think of Biden. <laughs> For a whole five or so hours to my shift. The park is over. Yes. Wait a second. Dude, I live in a tent at that park. Wait, did you say you dwell in a tent at the park? Oh dear. That's quite unfortunate. It's a good life, dear Randall. Living in a tent has its benefits. Like... No rent, greedy landlords, annoying land van landlords, annoying roommates. Um, I'm fucking it. I'm fucking, I can't read. I can't fucking read, guys. I'm deleting this fucking stream. I'm so tired of myself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not deleting the stream. It's funny and I'm stupid. Mine is my close proximity to drug dealers and hostile pawn birds. It's not a bad gig. Yeah, no thank you. Lawful as this dumpster is, if I had to spend another second at that park than necessary, I'd rather I just end up ripping this damn bandage off. Right, but then you wouldn't have fuck face on your forehead anymore though. Yeah, and my brains would spill out. But then you wouldn't have a fuck face anymore either. I'll just quickly jot that suggestion down too. Um, okay, but I mean, my point was you're heading down towards where I live, so we're actually going the exact same way, Randy. Why not make this a date? A date? Oh wow, we. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love him. I have never been asked on a second date before. As if I wouldn't be willing to lose a cutesy, lovable bum like you. I think not. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Guys, I love him. I am not botching this. I love him. A second date, I... Finally, something to cross off my bucket list. Right between pet a smooth rock and die somewhere other than inside a fast food place. Oops. We, uh, we can work on the rest of this later. <laughs> All right. Well then, let's waste no time. After you, my sweet. I love him. Uh, just watch your step. The, uh, moisture trash can get quite slippery. Oh, God. We're going on a walk. All right, just 15 more minutes of walking around and... Only 15 minutes until we hit the- 15 minutes?! <laughs> Unless you have some kind of cryptid propulsion system that <laughs> allows you to get around without using your legs. It surely must have taken you at least 15 minutes to walk here from the park. But I to fucking 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 read right, fucking dumbass bitch. Subway. You took the subway here? Wait. I could have sworn that you've repeatedly said that you're literally penniless and poverty stricken. Oh, I don't pay my fare. I usually just hop on. And nobody hassles you or asks to see your ticket? Nope. People usually just look the other way. Literally. People hate looking at me. I'm literally green man. People leave me well enough alone. Huh. If you're with me, no ticket dude's gonna bother you. Besides, I've never seen any staff down there. Whole subway's falling apart down there. It's lawless. You know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk to spend the time with my dear and loving companion. I love him. After all, what could possibly go wrong? No! <laughs> Your wallet, Bozo, hand it over. Your dumb phone face. Get it. I'll kill him. Wait, I could spit my acid on him. Why don't I trust you to to lay eggs. Hey, no, no need to be rude. Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you get to pout. Oh god, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep leaving the hide in your, sh hide in your shell for as much as your life as you can, like a hermit crab lesson, and <laughs> sporadically keep unlearning just to make my life even worse? This sucks. Your ideas suck, also, yes. Am, am I fucking invisible? <laughs> the wallet, bozo, or I'll start a stabbing. You have a gun. 
Yeah, wait, you can't... You will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hand that wallet over, so help me phone god. Oh god, oh god, sir. I don't even have a wallet, I... Wait, you don't have a wallet? Bullshit, everyone's got one. I, uh... So what do you carry your money around in, then? I only have change, I don't... Then hand it over! I don't care if it's a mere <laughs> pittance. <laughs> I demand monetary compensations for the so far fruitless endeavor. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> this is the only money I have left. Should I? Oh god, what the hell do I say? Brain is gonna get turned into fucking syrup. But it's all he has. It's nothing. Neither is Landy's life. Fairness. But then again. Randy being Randy? Yeah. He probably is. Until something comes along that kills him even after he fully cooperates, that is. Oh god. I... Ah! 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 Noble mugger here. Just take it all. Not like this isn't much anyhow. Sweet dude. Who would make a phone call with this? Kinda just wish I kept the phone head, honestly. This head is kinda fucking useless for day to day life. Hmm. Did I do the right thing? I'm not sure if I'm all that well, but. You're alive and well, Randy. That's all that fucking matters. Hang on a moment. Who's this fine piece of meat then? Meat. I'm a man. A proud man. You call me bandit. My, my. These such crude insults are really necessary from a handsome gentleman such as yourself. Are you sure you're looking at me? Yeah, wait, hold on. Why, yes, but of course I am. Your radiant green skin only complements your handsome visage and masculine composure, and I find myself floored in your very presence. <laughs> don't be that way. You've got a spark in you, don't you? Not for you. No. Spines and the suit seems utterly spineless. <gasps> don't don't shoot him. This thing isn't even loaded. Oh, just randomly found this gold. And get got gold gun empty and discarded in a dumpster. How about that? The fuck? Duh. I just robbed a dude for change. Basically just a really perceived pan. <laughs> I should give Randy a gun. You just robbed me at gunpoint. Yeah, with an empty gun. There's no danger, friend. Other than your knife head. In fact, it just sounds like you gave me some free money. I... You know what it is? I'm not guessing. No! I knew it, and yet I'm still shocked and appalled. You know, in this. Are you the male? I give you an incredibly adequate life.
Should I be polite and like make sure no one dies and get stabs? I'll be polite. Dandy with Randy. I think that rhymes. It does. It does rhyme. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> We're about to get off because I, uh, definitely gonna be sick. Just go on the floor, Randy. That's where everyone else. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, isn't this just scenic? Bitch, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. It's really unsolid. It's burning. It wasn't that bad. Well, I did just get sort of mung, didn't I? Oh shit. And then dragged into a puddle by that leash swan. At least you got the leash on the swan this time. Even if it was the one leading you, I guess. You were still legally the one in control of the situation. I don't think the swan ate this month's red receipt after it fell out of my pocket. Okay, scratch that. Swan is definitely in legal control of this situation now. I can't even feel my face. <laughs> Look on the bright side, Randy. Only six more years of this max and you'll be dead. <laughs> I can't wait. Why so glum, Randy? Come on, my friends. Shut up. <laughs> you know, life is really just one long kick in the nuts. <laughs> you right. And that's fine. Eventually your balls just grow accustomed to the it's useless barrage and become indestructible metallic balls of steel. Or in my case, bruise, shrivel, and shrink up inside your body to hide from the unrelenting pressure and unrelenting agony of <laughs> the spread of his explosive daily. <laughs> Good pep talk, Randy. No, you misunderstand. I... I'm just accustomed to ministry at this point, but well, something really, really irked me about today's mugging. Uh huh. Hold on, I'm trying to get my friend to join stream. What is it because you pissed yourself during the ordeal, dear? I didn't. You saw that? The whole pitch. Oh man. I mean, piss aside, the mugging irked me worse. Worse than these very usual swift cakes. Okay. I love him. What's up then? What's gotten you so riled up this time? Well, what that mugger said about me. About me being emasculated beta male bottom feeder. No, Randy, he's not right. He's not right, King. No. Ah, oh, shit, that wasn't even really <laughs> Alright, take two. Don't bother, I know, I know. I am a loser. I'm your bottom feeder. I take what's given to me without complaint and unconditionally accept the world for how unrentlingly uh, awful. Un unrent. That's a word? Took. I've taken this. This. This heck run for far too long. Yeah, go out, Brad. You're off the leash, man. Go fucking crazy. Run into the ones naked. Be feral. You're off the grid now, Randy. Go rogue. Yeah, I'm as feral as they come now, baby. <laughs> Everything was just damned into the unfortunate bot curse me, leaving me with bad cosmic juju! Yeah, fuck that hunk of junk! Yeah! <laughs> I love him! I've taken table scraps for far too long. The leash has been torn and I'm free now. 
I don't know if you saw, but the swan bit through my last leash and almost devoured a small child. So I'm definitely fired anyway, but uh... Yeah, I'm dead being the world's only part-time hotline voice daddy. <laughs> part-time swan chew toy. Yeah, king! Yeah! I'm making big changes in! I think I'll sleep on this bed tonight. Even if it's sticky with piss, your piss, remember? Yeah, okay, the piss is mine, alright? <laughs> That's just my destiny. It's in my hands now, or in this case, staining this bench and my pants. Right on, dude. <laughs> yeah, the rightest of ones, dude. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna get some sleep. It's past my bedtime. It's 7 p.m. Exactly. The more time I spend sleeping, the less time today I have to experience. Oh my god. Called him bro after that. <laughs> God. Hey, uh, about the mugging. Is he though? Does Ray really these seem okay to you? That's what I mean. Thing. Huh. It's like a switch flipped in his brain. Okay. Good, good. I mean, he is your boyfriend after all. Wait, when? Oh, shit! Do you think he's his problem? No. <laughs> okay, okay, point taken. I just figured that, uh... You ever watch a movie that's so bad it's kind of fun to watch, though? <laughs> Me? You know, like a festive train wreck? Spread your face. <laughs> oh my god. Mm hmm. Continue. I figured I was like the dating equivalent of one of those movies. You know what? I figured that about myself. It's like Randy's. Uh huh. Name one of his positive qualities then. Let me think, damn it! Uh. He has skin. In all of the normal places. What a high bar. Shut up, you're just a jealous. <laughs> Some body breath scallion! Oh, I love it. I love it here. Ah, shit, I'm stuck with him, aren't I? Look on the bright side! Might not be strong, or brave, or financially stable, or well-adjusted, or confident, or attractive, or- Oh, fuck. Why'd you pick him again? Name Randy. Figured I'd be sexier. He speaks like an orange trying to run out of a wooden bucket. That's on you for thinking. <laughs> Son of your mathematically astute reptile brain. Both of you to assume I have a brain. How do you breathe without a brainstorm, then? The motor's already running, baby. It's all already running. So long as it keeps going and never stops for even a moment, I'll keep living. Perception of biology and logic itself is baffling. Well, how do you speak without a mouth then? I win! Good night, Florida. Sleep tight. 
Don't let the bed roaches bite. I don't know what I said, but whatever. You restless abomination. Oh my. <sighs> ah! Is there- is this a good place to leave? Oh dear. Gah, fuck. The sirens. The j- Uh-huh. Oh shit. I want to speak to you right now. That's a first. Let a stranger in my head? <laughs> <laughs> Answer it. Okay, Jesus, fuck. Randy? Help! Speak, Randy! It is kind of distorted. But it lasts no time. Quickly, can I get to the fun fair? Just run. Get here as quick as you can. Oh no, is it the eggs? Oh my god. Off the chain! I've gone rogue and I- What have I done to him? Sorry, just checked. My pants are still indeed on. Just get here as soon as you can, okay? Okay, you gotta be okay. Better than okay! Everything changes today! No more bad luck! Is he gonna- Is he gonna destroy the machine? No more pain. Hmm, yep, Randy's off his rockers, alright. What? No, no. Oh yeah, he's completely nuts. Gonna meet up with him? I do love him. Plus, you know, my eggs are over there. Papa's gotta protect his babies, you know? Stop calling yourself that. Alright, fine, just <laughs> be careful. One Lord knows what he's planning, I guess. Oh dear. Alright, me go now. <laughs> I- I feel like- Ticket Jerry! Please sir, do not. Ticket Jerry, I'm looking for Randy, you seen him around? Randy? Not that you mention it. I could've sworn that I saw a dude with his signature and only jacket passed by. I figured some dude had mugged him for it, to be frank. His swagger was way too confident looking to be Randy's, you know? Oh shit. Randy was mugged, but alas, he still has this gnarly denim jacket. Oh, that is unfortunate. Him getting mugged or him having a signature jacket? Come on, sir. I like Randy. Please don't make this state the obvious. But really, his swagger made that much of a difference? Well, that and because, you know... He also had something metal in his hand. It looked like a tool or perhaps a weapon from the assistance. Oh. Well, hey, I didn't emerge to investigate. I'm safe behind the confines of my coward glass. It's not my responsibility to protect anything outside of the fence, anyway. Just act as a gatekeeper for the afterlife and nothing more. I mean, fun pair! Yeah, sure you do, bud. Sure you do. Hmm, still could be Randy, I guess. You look particularly nefarious to you? Hmm. Mischievous, perhaps. Mischief, mayhem. Pure malarkey. Phone Lord, that's not good. Anywho, you went that away. That away. Shoo! Go to him! Okay, farewell. Bye. Shoo. <laughs> oh my god. Tired enough walking. Well, Jerry did say that Randy was somewhere off in this general direction. 
Granted, right, so I'm sure Drenary would have told you that. Yeah, you're right. Randy said he'd be here, though. If you just checked me and I'm walking all the way over here. Perhaps all of this dating was shit was just a cruel, cruel joke. Tom Foolery, a mere jape. Or you could just look five yards or so that away. Oh my god, he has a hammer. Well, low on my bread pipe, there he is. Mm hmm. Well, you might as well get his attention. He has a hammer? Right, right. Do I lightly t No, I don't lightly tap him. Marauder! You made it! So, you, you like my hammer? It's definitely a hammer, yeah? Thanks! I think so, too! Why do you have it with you, anyhow? Why do you need a hammer? Well, you see... Wait... Is that... A madam and yoker machine? Sure is! You've brought us here? Why? Well, you see, you've just realized something, right? Uh huh! I had a crazy idea. First, I thought maybe I could reason with it and ask it politely, and maybe even sort of firmly, to undo the curse. But then I figured that bad juju has to be coming from somewhere if the effect is still active, right? All things need a power source. It's gotta be Madame Medane's crystal ball head. Did I say Madame Medane? Alright guys, so I'm ending the stream. Um, so... Uh, I've come to realize that I'm a fucking idiot. And that I need to get off the internet. Sound good? Sounds good. Um... I think... We're gonna... We're gonna see Randy later. Guys, it's been two and a half hours, and I couldn't read a single word during that. Because I'm a fucking idiot. So, with that being said, um, I don't know why you would, but follow. Tell your friends to follow. Tell ever tell- scream it out your window. Scream it out your fucking window. I don't even care. Tell people to follow me. I don't care. I don't care. Join my Discord server. Join it. Join it. Join it. I dare you. I fucking dare you. And with that being said, you know what? Goodbye. And I'm so tired mentally from this fever dream of a game that has words that are unreadable in my brain. Good night. Love you.